Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Hilga Bow from CCT Annette Plaga Lodi. And I hope I was close. All right. So this is super cute. <laughs> um, oh, let's see. Do I want... Oh, what the heck? Let's just go right off the edge because it's just that kind of a like it's that kind of a week. It's only uh, Monday. <laughs> All right. So I love this. Starts off with just some some lines, squiggly or otherwise. It is up to you. And you want to make sure to leave some space. They don't need to coordinate at all. Whatever you want is good. Okay, let me do that one just a little bit. Ever so carefully. I should have turned my tile. That would have been smart. Okay, then we're, this is a, um, I want to say it's a practice in auraing, kinda, because things can be wonky and it's just fine. Okay, so once you have this set in your area, then we're going to go on either side and I'm not going to flip my tile for each one. I, I, I'm like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> and, and here's, here's what I'm talking about. If you have no idea. So when I aura, one thing that is nice to be able to do is to see the line that you are auraing from. And so when my pen is here, you know, it kind of blocks that just a little bit. So I always have this have this thing it's like well sometimes you just have to make a decision because uh on occasion it's just it just works out better that way and sometimes it doesn't so i just like to bring it up because sometimes you may have an instance where it's like this just uh, just doesn't feel right something is you know just doesn't feel comfortable as you're tangling and that could be one of the things And this, you know, it's like, well, I'm going slow. <laughs> I was. <laughs> See the result of going slow. See the result of not going slow. I mean, this is, it's not really, actually, it's pretty good uh, in comparison to other things that I've done. <laughs> but let me just restate. In the end, it just doesn't matter. And let's put one here because there we go. Okay. Evenly-ish spaced. Next, however you want to do this part, of course, is up to you. But what we're going to do is, and, and she has these kind of curved, doesn't matter however you want to do it. So just putting in almost, almost parentheses, right? Just some little C-shaped curve lines, spread them out. They, um, you know, they, they can alternate however you wish for them to alternate. They can also be different sizes. Up to you. You want to, we are going to leave some gaps here. That one will go off the page. Oh, let's put one right here in this, in this gap. I, I do like to do that. So it's kind of checkerboard esque, you know, so that we, oh, there's a gap there. But then again, sometimes I like to do like this and have it overlap. Okay. So, so the bottom line here is that it just doesn't matter. <laughs> I like to I like to point that out and draw draw that out and then come to that con conclusion at the end where all I really had to do was just say it in the beginning, right? Okay, so once you have these placed however you wish, then now this this part it doesn't matter which uh, which order you do these last two steps. I'm, I'll follow this step out, and that is. Uh, to, we're going to fill these spaces in with lines. But what I decided to do is, and I did combine two of Annette's uh, step out. She had it where you were doing like um, aura in this line, aura in that line, and then coming in the middle. I just decided, you know what, I'm going to just do them all, do it all at one time and put it in one box. Because it, you know, you can, you can see what's happening there and it's fine. So you could have it be the same distance here and just, you know, however you want to divide it. 
I do find it easy to kind of divide and I'm, I'm curving it sort of so this one not uh, not necessarily so much but this one working to uh, follow the contour and then this one you know also so it just I don't know I just like to do it that way it's all good whatever way you wish to do it and see now this one is rather wide although doing it this way where you're you're dividing and then subdividing you know you can see where there there is a consistency and a, a continuation you know like like if as if we were hollow bowing uh you, you know this continuous line it, it kind of gives that impression all right and we'll do that to all of them i also like the um the difference in the contrast it's kind of, yeah because it is contrasting when they're closer together it makes it a little darker wider it, it's a it just makes it different and i kind of like it all right why i, I turned it just for that one I, oh, oh so i could do this one I'm just kidding. I have no idea. Sometimes it's just like a, like an automatic, just turn it. Okay. And then after, and we're going to aura these big spaces. And same thing up to you, how, um, you know, the distance that you have between things. I'm trying to follow that curve. This one, I, I, I've uh, not completely decided, um, you know, I, like you could just do it like almost in a stroke like this, sort of, or doing it as I was doing it, just, you know, kind of stopping at each little place. And so y y up to you how, you know, close in you want to uh, aura that. Part of the reason I was stopping, kind of doing this start and stop thing, was so that way I could work to get each side of this shape. Whoops. All right, we'll just do that. <laughs> well, you know, there's a, there is a something else too. Um, I won't do it here, but you could just start at one place and make it like a maze, right? Like a like a a weird shaped spiral if you wanted to because that's what that started looking like because I, I was going off the page and wasn't paying attention but it's you know the process of just drawing these lines like this is just very it's soothing it gives you something to focus on and you don't have to think too much. <laughs> Checks all the boxes. And this, and then we'll, as we do the shading, it's just really, really neat. And then of course we can decorate these as we wish. Or not at all. And there we have it. Okay. So thinking, we'll, we'll just do a couple things as far as, as decorating. Because like I said, it's completely up to you. Um, and we'll just, like I said, we'll do, well, maybe I'll do something different. Maybe in each one, maybe not. So one thing is, and I'll do it on the outside, is we could add perfing, which is just little dots. Around the edge. Actually, it could do it. It doesn't have to be just the one side. We could do it, um. You know, like this. This could give it a bit of a steampunky look, I suppose. 
Um, also, could, looking at some that I did on my step out, like, did, did I like that one enough to redo it? <laughs> well, you could. I want to do just the inside of here. I'm going to start with the corners. I'm just going to make little stripes. Well, it's not stripes yet. Right now, it's just lines. <laughs> Let's make it like that. Could just leave it that way. Or could fill in. If I made this a little bit bigger, you could leave that little shine, you know, in the center, which would kind of be, you know, like that sort of. This depends on what direction you would want that shine to be. Of course, you can always come afterwards with a, you know, a white gel pen. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Why does that happen sometimes and then sometimes not? Well, let's do, wait, the, the, oh, here. There we go. It's always a way. There's always a way to, <laughs> to adjust. Okay. Um, what else can we do? Uh, I mean, honestly, it is, it's completely up to you. you can fill in. Uh, oh, let's do that. We could fill in. Or we'll leave a shine on the sides. Now, had I gone like and alternated it for real, uh, then it could have been every other one, but apparently I just decided to do this. And that's okay. So, it just depends on whatever it is that you want to do. You could just uh, fill in the center. And, ooh, let's see. No, we'll do two of them. Completely up to you. All right. So with the shading, let's do this. Um, oh, and this really has a neat effect. I'm going to use, so I'm just using the regular old, this is the, <laughs> what's left of what comes normally in our Zentangle kits. And it's pretty much just like a regular number two school type pencil. Well, actually, I should follow what I normally do. Just do it on the one side. I am going rather dark. All right, let's just do that. Drop all those sides. Um, so this way, here we go. And I'm just going to spread it out. Like so. Okay, if you were yelling at me, you missed one right, right there by your fingers. Sorry, I, I didn't hear you. Or I should say, I, I'm just hearing you now. There, that sounds better. <laughs> Sound, you know, travels through the internet and time and space and all of that. Okay. And I, I wanted to do it this way specifically because we like to keep the tip of the tortillon, tip of the pencil, where we want it darkest. Like I said, sometimes I break my own rules. There are also some, you know, other ideas, of course, uh, if you go to the description section of the video, uh, which is down below the video somewhere, depending on what you're viewing this on. Um, and take a look at the for more inspiration link for just that more inspiration. And um, not only in Annette's step out, but I always like to look at what Linda Farmer did. Linda Farmer is is uh, the person, the CZT behind Tangle Patterns. And uh, so she always does a little sample uh, thumbnail picture, I, I like to call it. And so it's always fun to see what she does as well as to see, you know, what the creator of the tangle does. Look at that though. You want to have it look all 
you know real shiny you have to go you have to go darker as as my friend Tom says go darker go home <laughs> look at that super cool super cool all right well I hope you enjoyed this you know and actually I'm gonna just put a little that would be one two three we'll just put a little graphite down here as if and maybe here too because we don't we, we I haven't decided what was continuing there but there we go okay oh so neat what a neat fill in now you could also use this as a border just do you know you, you could do one one strip you know or one two however many you want right you're up to you um but you know kind of a neat dual purpose like that so how fun all right so if you enjoyed it would love it if you click on the like button and if you liked it enough to see more would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel mention the description section where you can find links for step outs but below those um, you'll see my link tree link and that has all of my social media website uh, places to follow uh, if you're interested in classes classes or uh, sessions just tangling with people from all over I do have both uh, free and paid most of them are free uh, some of them are paid there are I, I teach on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, I, I, my time in Michigan and I say that because we have people from all over and so uh, depending on the time of day it could be tomorrow where you're at um, so uh, uh, and, and that's the other nice thing nice thing about um, some of the other places to follow like Facebook and you know Eventbrite meetup things like that is because then it shows it in your time zone and you don't have to worry about calculations and then for the stupid daylight savings time and all that kind of nonsense um, so I share those there as well. Also, I want to make mention, if you would like to be a part of an amazing community of Tanglers um, and also a safe space, I have called it that way for a long time, a uh, safe place to uh, share your work and, and, you know, and stuff like that. We have an amazing community of people that understand that we all come from different walks, uh, different skill levels. You know, um, I always start saying di different abilities and different disabilities, and it doesn't matter because it's about your journey with Zentangle, not about you know anything else. Of course, we all want to we all you know have a picture in our head of how we want to have something happen, and that is one of the ways that we do support each other. Is you know it's like well you know you could try this, you could try that if the question is asked, but usually even when the question is asked, we're just like it's amazing. How did you want it to turn out? You know, because it's, it's that, that's what has to be determined. There's no, there was no right. There's no wrong in Zentangle. The only wrong thing is, is not to do. So come play with us. We have a lot of fun. And I just noticed, I thought I gotta do this one right here. I, I'm sorry if, if you were screaming at me. I didn't, I was, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Um, there we go. <laughs> now, now it's finished. Um, all right, I think that's it. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.